I love football. I always have. Ever since I could walk, I have been kicking a football. When I am not kicking it, I am watching it on TV. When I am not watching it, I am reading about it, or I am speaking about it, or even I am just thinking about it. And there are a lot of people, and many females, who do not understand this. <sighs> but I am not alone in this passion for football. It is the most popular sport in the world. So in this video, I am going to try to answer the question, why do men love football so much? So, what male needs are being met from watching football? What desires are being satisfied by watching grown men kicking a football around a football pitch, chasing an inflated piece of leather day after day, week after week, year after year? I know there are some women who love watching football and playing competitive sports, but even in the growing women's football leagues, the majority of the audience is men. For some men, it is escapism. It is a chance to switch off, to switch off your mind a little bit. You are in a room watching TV. You are not really present. You are engaged in the activity of watching football. Some people would say this is laziness, but some people say this is psychologically deep-rooted within men. I once read that this could be biologically linked to the feeling post-ejaculation, the feeling after sex, that free feeling where your mind is empty. When you start watching football or even when you open a can of beer or a bottle of beer, your mind switches off and no thoughts are racing through your brain so you can relax. It is a form of therapy in some way. Also, football inspires emotion, particularly in men. Grown men sometimes cry if their teams are relegated or sometimes if their team win a trophy, they have tears of joy. And sometimes these same men do not show any emotion even when their child is born or when somebody dies. Male emotions are often repressed but in football stadiums or watching football, they can be released and it is deemed acceptable. Similarly, research has shown that men do not like talking to other men face to face. They do not like facing each other when they are talking and looking at each other. You may have experienced this on a video call with another man. It's a little bit strange, I feel. So, watching a football match or having a football match in the background can allow you to bond and be with other men and possibly even talk about other topics, not just the football, while you are not facing each other. Generally, men need something to do to bond, to meet. They cannot just meet up and talk with each other. Usually, they need some kind of activity to do this, so watching a football match allows for this. In evolution and some male species of birds or insects or other mammals, males often group together and display themselves or they engage in combat or mock combat while other males watch. There are a few reasons for this. One is that it helps females select males or select mates. But also, males can evaluate each other. They can size up. They can evaluate potential competitors. Also, they can evaluate potential alliances and potential friendships. Men generally are more competitive than females. I know this is changing. In society, you see a lot more competitive women. It is much more acceptable for a female to be aggressive and competitive than in the past and maybe less so for men, actually. But I read research that said men have a stronger competitive impulse, and they used research about marathon running. And this suggests that the male competitive impulse was stronger than their actual ability. And this could be the reason why a lot of men still think that they could make it. They still think that they could be a professional footballer, even when the chance is long gone. 
football and competitive sport in general is a chance for people to compete against each other, but not in a violent way, not in a way where somebody is going to be killed. It's in a safer environment. There are rules, there are boundaries. So football, biologically, could be an outlet for men. It's a way to show off. It's a way to compete and show a man's physical prowess, how fast they can run, how high they can jump. Or socially, it could be a way for men to bond with other men. In the UK, football is tribal. There is a tribalism. You are part of a group. You share your love for your team with other people. Also, you share your hatred for other teams, also with those same people. And this culture may have been passed down from previous generations, from fathers to sons. It is a chance for fathers to bond with their sons and also a chance for sons to bond with their fathers or people from older generations. Also for me, football has everything. It has suspense. You never know who is going to win. It is full of passion. It has non-stop action and there are drama and twists every week. There are news stories, not only about the sport itself, but also involving politics, business and just life. Overall, I think it is a positive influence in a person's life. Some people may disagree and consider it futile, but I think it can bring benefits both socially and physically. But what do you think? Why do you love football? Or why do you think men love football so much? Or do you think I am being sexist and there is no gender bias with this? Males and females can love football. It doesn't matter on your gender. Please leave a comment. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.